Hello again, it's uh, Paul Beckwith and of course uh, Shackleton. And uh, he's getting some treats here, but uh, he's not the full center of attention. So he's kind of uh, a little bit annoyed at me right now. He's sort of growling and so on. But uh, tonight, as I'm doing this video, we have a super typhoon heading for the Philippines. In fact, it's impacted the Philippines and it's likely to cross over uh, the capital, Manila. And what is so phenomenal, what is so incredible about this uh, Typhoon Ghani, Super Typhoon Ghani, is that its winds on landfall in the Philippines were roughly 195 miles per hour. You know, this is uh, one of the, uh, this is almost a record for the, the highest on earth ever and uh, there's even gust to 230 miles per hour so next time you're on the highway driving you know at 195 miles an hour stick your hand out the window and see how how, how the winds feel I mean that's uh, hitting a widespread area in the in the ow in the Philippines I hope you didn't draw blood there <laughs> I deserve it if he did. Um, of course, in the U.S. recently, we had uh, we had Hurricane uh, Category Two Hurricane uh, Zeta, um, but the water is cooling down significantly. In the uh, I'll have to wear goggles next time I carry the guy, um, carry the cat. But anyway, um, yeah, Hurricane Zeta uh, Category Two in uh, the Gulf, you know, we've had a very active uh, season with hurricanes and, uh, you know, that actually caused uh, significant power outages and uh, storm surge and high winds in New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, but the season there should be ending soon as the water uh, cools off. And when, a when large hurricanes go through an area of hot water, of course, they feed off the energy of the hot water and that water is replaced at the surface with upwelling water. So if it's warm all the way down, there'll be a lot of sustaining of these storms. But, you know, it's, we're getting, we're, we're almost in November and uh, it'll be cooler water upwelling when that hot water is, is um, replaced, is, is the energy is taken out of the hot water. Um, so, so the hurricane season is ending there. But in the, in the um, Pacific Ocean, the water is incredibly warm. It's two to three degrees Celsius warmer than normal, just to the east of the, of the Indonesian islands and the Philippines. And it's um, you know, also warm in the, in the uh, South China Sea. So, so uh, you know, the hurricanes, you know, the typhoons are, are going to, there's many more expected to come. But, you know, I remember being at the COP in Paris and uh, large uh, in 2015, and I believe it was in 2015. And, and uh, I, well, I know the COP in Paris was in 2015, but um, I believe there was a large hurricane that was, that was uh, impacting the Philippines at that time. Um, if the COP had gone on this year in Edinburgh, it would have been next week. So just a heads up that there's something called COP 25 and a half. There's sort of an online version, a group called the European Scientists Warning. Um, if you go to their website, there's all kinds of different talks and, and stuff. I'll, I'll, Twitter the, I'll, I'll tweet out the, uh, some of the talks and things, you know, mostly on policy, not so many on physical science. That's a bit dis disappointing, but Peter Wadhams is giving a talk on the, on Arctic, uh, the Arctic methane threat. So it's online videos on, on Zoom, I believe, um, you know, stuff going on every day uh, for the first uh, week, week, week and a half in uh, November. So that's coming up soon. But let me start talking, um, you know, this, this uh, super typhoon, um, you know, it's reaching 195 mile an hour winds. Its pressure center is, has bottomed out at about 876 millibar. So at normal atmospheric pressure is 1013 millibar. So, you know, 876, that's an enormous drop. The stronger the pressure drop, the higher the winds because the pressure gradient is much larger. So 
let's get right to some of the um, images and some of the uh, null school stuff, etc. Okay, so this is on my Twitter account. So this, if you do, if you Google, if you Google, if you if you go into Twitter and you search for hashtag Goni, this is what you what you get here. Okay, so this is the top stories. So it's making landfall pressure. Look, 884 wind speeds of 195 miles an hour. This would be the strongest land forming storm of all time in the Northern Hemisphere and tied for the entire globe with Winston in 2016. Um, and you can see, look at the, here it's coming over the Philippines and look at its eye, it's perfectly formed here. I mean, this is a classic uh, radar image of, you know, of, of, you know, one of the strongest storms to, to hit land um, in the, in the uh, entire globe. Okay, um, here's some other images. Um, infrared imagery. Okay, um, so you can see that the, you know, as it goes over the Philippines, then it, um, it, it reaches the mountains. There's a lot of terrain and so on, so it, it, it's weakening. Uh, the eye is immediately filled with warmer cloud tops. Um, here's another image, um, another infrared image. You know, here's a color image. Okay, uh, so that, so just look at the hashtag Goni to get the, the details on it. We'll just have a look at this uh, image here as it comes across. Look at the perfectly formed uh, round eye there. Okay, for the first time in 25 years, the only second time to do so, Tropical cyclone wind signal number four was placed over Metro Manila. Okay, so downtown Manila, the capital of the Philippines, is being pummeled as we speak. Um, winds from 170 to 220 kilometers an hour experienced in the area. So the storm's already weakened a little bit. Um, you know, you can see some actual images of the of the ocean waves and the uh, you know the trees affected on the coastline. Okay, uh, you know, as of an hour ago, the eyes weakened and is just completely covered, um, and completely covered. Okay, so here's the eye here. So it starts hitting. So look at this. If this island here, 250,000 inhabitants, taking the brunt of the storm. You know, if the storm was a little bit lower, then it would have gone across um, more of the mainland island, the bigger islands. But you can see how the, there's significant weakening here as it goes over the island because of the topography. Okay, and I'll show you some information from Severe Weather Europe um, in the description of this storm. So 195 mile per hour winds, which is 170 knots or 315 kilometers an hour. This is like very, very strong tornado winds, but over a widespread area. Gusts of 235 miles an hour, which is 205 knots or 380 kilometers an hour. The central pressure, 876 millibar. The strongest, this ter super typhoon could be the strongest landfalling typhoon slash hurricane ever recorded on Earth, tied with Maranti and Haiyan. Okay, here's some images here you know, of the winds, lots of radar images here. Okay, um, infrared satellite images. Look at this when it made landfall. Um, look at this, this incredible picture of the, the eye. Um, another another um, image, radar image of the uh, super typhoon. Okay. Um, Here's some more uh, images of it. Different. Look at the look at the eye wall here. Okay, there's all kinds of images, and if we look at the latest, okay, you can see the uh, more more pictures here, more images. So it's made landfall. Catastrophic impacts, uh, you know, they'll be live talking about it soon, it says. Um, these are all different. This is Ghani, this is Atsani, 
These are some other formations. This is uh, you know another low here. We just had uh, Zeta hitting hitting the uh, U.S. Okay, so very good uh, sites, very good information. I think we that's uh, from before. We've seen that. Okay, so let's uh, look into more detail about this storm. First of all, I want to mention Zeta. So Zeta um, in the Gulf of Mexico was a category two. These are wind gusts uh, near an, um, this specific. There's an oil platform in the Gulf of Mexico. This rig south of Louisiana near the eyewall of Zeta when it came ashore. This is October 28th, a few days ago. There were wind gusts exceeding 150 miles per hour and waves over 50 feet over 50 feet high. Okay, so this is, imagine being on this oil rig, you know, and going down closer to, close to sea level. And uh, you can see the tremendous uh, force of the wind and the waves. I'll have to go on, in, on one of these rigs at something during a storm and I can take, do some awesome climate, climate videos. Okay, so, you know, US have been hit, has been hit um, by large numbers of storms. You know, this is a parking garage at the Golden Nugget uh, Casino. So, you know, it's a reminder that it's parking for cars, not, not boats. Um, and you can see, there's, it looks like there's almost white caps inside the parking lot. You know, these are images that we're seeing more, more and more of the destruction of, of uh, property. Okay. Um, there's a business just uh, dis good goodbye. It just disappeared, basically blown away. Um, this is power outages in New Orleans. Lots of places lost power. Um, part of the parking garage, a submerged car there. You know, incredible destruction incredible destruction an oil refinery lit up the sky uh you know a storm surge in venice louisiana here you know uh impacting property and houses this is new orleans nola new orleans louisiana okay um the winds and the uh, bent trees and so on nobody around of course okay so there's lots of images here Category two. So this was on October 28th, like I say, just uh, three days ago or so. Okay, so, um, you know, I've been posting lots of this stuff. On, this is my, my Twitter at Paul H. Beckwith. Make sure you go there. And in terms of the severe weather Europe, I'll just talk about some of the main features here. So 195 mile an hour winds, 860 millibar central pressure. Okay, um, here is an image, a still image of the radar and a perfectly round eye. Um, it's like, it's one of the most powerful tropical cyclones in recorded history. It may even be stronger than Super Typhoon Haiyan, which destroyed parts of the Philippines in 2013. It was the deadliest, one of the deadliest Philippine tornadoes on record. It killed 6,300 people in the Philippines alone. It tied, it's tied with Mer Meranti in 2016. Um, so Meranti and Haiyan are the mo two most intense in the Eastern Hemisphere. And, you know, when you, we talk about those wind speeds, it's one minute sustained winds of 195 miles an hour. Okay, so that island that took the full brunt of of, of Ghani, uh, 250,000 population. So I hope they're all hunkered down well. The Western Pacific is extremely warm, 30 to 31 degrees. This is two to three degrees above normal. And you can see the uh, Philippine Sea here. You can look at all these temperatures here. You know, it came across this way through this extremely warm water. These are temperatures in, in Celsius. It's like sauna temperatures. The ocean heat content is huge. Here's the tornado. Here's the super, the intensification. Here we had 35 knot winds. Here we had 155 knot winds, all in a 48 hour period, going through this warm water, heading right for the, the uh, Philippines. Um, infrared images of clouds. More images of so. So this storm is just is just massive. This is the intensification of the storm. And I just want to show you a few images. Here it is. 
impacting. This is Go to Earth Null School, 